हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर प्रतीक हरिभजन शिंदे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एट श्री ओमकारनाथ मालपानी लॉ कॉलेज संगमनेर एफिलिएटेड टू सावित्री बाई फुले पुणे यूनिवर्सिटी विथ दैट ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन लेट स्टार्ट टूडेज इम्पॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट दैट इज द लॉ ऑफ डिमांड वेलकम टू टूडेज सेशन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट fundamental concept in economics the law of demand whether you are a student or a teacher or just curious about how price affect our buying decision this concept is essential so let's at begin today we are going to explore a fundamental concept of economics the law of demand at its core the law of demand explains how people respond to change in prices it simplifies states that other thing being equal when the price of good and services increases the quantity of demanded decreases and when the price decreases the quantity of demand increases in other word there is an inverse relationship between the prices of a product and the amount of people are willing to buy think about it if the price of your favorite snack suddenly double you are likely to buy less of it on the other hand if there is a discount you will probably buy more that's the law of demand in action this concept is crucial not just for economist but also for business setting prices and for government decision in tax policies let's help us understand consumer behavior market trend and economic planning so what is demand let's start with the basic what is mean a demand in economics demand refers to the quantity of good or services that a consumer is willing to buy or able to buy at a given prices during a particular period of time let me emphasize this two important word willing and able it means just desiring a product is not enough the consumer must also have purchasing power there are two types of demand individual demand and market demand individual demand that mean which is demand by one consumer and on the other hand market demand that mean which is the total demand by the consumer in the market so the law of demand now let's move towards the central concept that is law of demand law of demand state the inverse relationship between the prices and quantity demanded keeping other factor constant in another word other thing being equal when the price of product increases the demand of it decreases and when the price fall the demand increase so basically there is an inverse relationship between the prices and quantity demanded so prices increase demand decrease when prices decrease demand increase this law was introduced by alfred marshall a well known economist there is a, a one concept that is constant factor the law of demand assume that certain factor remain constant or citrus paribus in latin we called as a citrus paribus when decreasing in relationship between the prices and quantity demanded price of related good is one of the important citrus paribus or constant that mean the price of related or substitute good remain constant next that is test and preference the test and preference of consumer remain constant another is population another factor that is the population the size and composition of population remain constant and last that is income that mean the income of consumer remain constant next part that is demand schedule and graph so let's understand with this example here a demand schedule a table that shows the different price of good and the corresponding quantity of demanded the most important two factor that is the price 
and quantity demanded as we can see when the price fall from 5 rupees to 1 rupees the demand increase from 1 to 5 unit that means quantity demanded this trend is shown more clearly in the demand curve in the given demand curve the curve slope downward from left to right showing that as price falls quantity demanded rises so next part that is assumption of the law of demand so there are several assumptions regarding the law of demand the law of demand state that other things being equal when the price of commodity falls other quantity demanded increases and when price rise the quantity demanded decreases but these law works correctly only if certain conditions remain unchanged or as we say in latin citrus parables let's understand each assumption that must hold true for the law to apply first that is price of substitute good do not change that means substitute good mean there are good that can be used in place of each other like tea and coffee next that is why this assumption is important basically if the price of substitute good changes it may shift demand away from toward the original good even if its own price hasn't changed so to purely observe the effect of price on demand the price of substitute goods must be remain constant second assumption that is price of complementary good remain constant so what is the meaning of comp complementary good there is a good that used together like car and petrol pr printers and ink ink cartridge why as, why this assumption important if the prices of complementary good changes it can influence demand for original good so to ensure the law of demand holds complementary good prices must not change third assumption that is income of the consumer remain same why does income matter a consumer is purchasing power is directly linked to their income if income rise people may buy more regardless of prices therefore to the study impact of price alone on demand the consumer income must be held constant fourth assumption that is no expectation of future price changes why do expectation matter if consumer expect prices to rise in their near future they may buy more now even if current prices are high if they expect price to fall they may clearly purchase even if the price are currently low hence the law of demand assume no anticipation of price change in the future and last assumption that is test and preference of the consumer remain same why are test and important demand is influenced by what people like need or are influenced therefore to ensure a clear relationship between the price and demand test and preference must remain unchanged all these assumption helps isolate as the only variable affecting demand if any of these condition change it could destroy the relationship and lead to the incorrection conclusion that why economists always say the law of demand holds true only under the condition of citrus parabolas that mean the constant but remember the law of demand works only when other factor remain constant this is called the citrus parabolas condition in latin so summary and conclusion is very important let's quickly recap what are learned today first that is demand demand is the desire backed by ability and willingness to buy second the law of demand 
the law of demand shows an inverse relationship between prices and quantity demanded. It is shown by downward sloping curve. It works under certain assumption and has notable expectation. It is highly relevant in our everyday economic life. So thank you for joining me in this session on the law of demand. I hope you now see how prices and consumer choice are linked in the real world. Keep exploring, keep learning and see you in the next session. Thank you.